Evening troopers. I'm fat and I've never been in a helicopter. I wonder if those two things are linked. Um, tonight is the uh, always unpopular books you might like. Um, I'm enjoying them. And, you know, there's like five people watching, so why not? Um, I shouldn't do that. It's really passive aggressive, isn't it? Oh, you hate this. I shouldn't do that. I'm going to be more positive. Positive mental attitude. Jolly fat man. I hope you enjoy the book I want to talk about tonight. Although, I'm going to talk about it in a framing, a frame that is very personal to me, that I don't know whether you're going to enjoy because it's quite a sad story. So a couple of years ago, my, uh, my lovely dad uh, was um, diagnosed with lung cancer and sadly passed away afterwards. Um, but I was taking him to hospital fairly regularly for scans and chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And one of the times I took him to hospital, um, it was a bad time because, um, obviously because of that, but there was other issues as well with work and stuff. So it was, it was, it was a bad time and I'd just been made redundant as well, believe it or not. So it, everything was kind of pushed together. Um, and one of the times I took him to hospital for radiotherapy, I believe, um, I was there for a while as you are, and there was a book cart and in the book cart was a book I'd never read. Um, the Hunt for Red October by Tom Clancy. Clancy! The Hunt for Red October. Now, I'd seen the film, and I really liked the film. But it's not the kind of book I read, Not because I, I tend to read sci-fi fantasy, because I'm a catastrophic neckbeard, as we've discussed. Um, so, thrillers like this is not normally something I read. But I picked it up, and it was it's still got one ninety five on the label. I don't know whether that was the hospital price, or... Uh, someone who donated it. Sometimes they have like 10p written on the inside or something. So I'd never read, read this book before and while I was waiting for Pops, I sat reading it and you know what? It hooked me. Proper got me. So I, I bought it from the book cart in the hospital and I finished it and I really enjoyed it. And it's it's like the film. The film isn't a million miles away, but if anything, this is better. But the two of them, are it, they didn't take the source material and then go boom on a tangent. Uh, like another book I really like, The Postman. The book of the postman is completely different and miles better to the film of the postman. Although I think the film's got its own points as well. So that's it. So that's the point. So I bought the Hunt for Red October, and then that day, this is where the weird coincidence is coming. That day, um, I went for a, a sub. I was going to get my lunch while I was waiting for him. So I said, "I'm going to pop out for a bit. I'll come back later, pops." So I went around the corner to Subway, and next to Subway was a TK Max. And while I was in there. Um, I, I was looking in the watch. I just had to walk around just to clear my head and, you know, just just to be on my own for a minute and have a think. And um, they had this watch in the jewellery bit. And it's it's by the brand CCCP. And it's called the Akula, which is a Russian submarine um, designation. And it's a really nice watch. It's got a little red window at the back where you can see the uh, mechanism. It's kind of a diver's watch. It's actually based on a Russian submarine captain's watch of the Akula class. Um, so I'd, I'd bought a book that morning about Russian submarines. And then I saw a watch. It was quite expensive, especially because I'd just been, been very redundant. Um, I saw a watch that was, that was linked to it. And I, I felt that fate was doing something there. It felt, um, there, there was, there, it felt weird that I'd been... Seen the book, started reading it for three chapters or so, dragged me in, went to get some lunch, saw something that was, you know, linked to it. It's a, 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 the Akula class is the class of submarine in in the book, you know. Um, the NATO designation was Typhoon, I believe, and the Russian was Akula. That could be, um, not, but anyway, even if it isn't that, it's still submar Russian submarine based, and so is the book. So um, you can guarantee I bought this book, this watch with some of my redundancy money. Um, and I've had it ever since. So that's why I feel quite linked to this book because I, I found it in a difficult time. Uh, and I don't normally read thrillers, don't normally read Tom Clancy or, um, you know, political, you know, action, like holiday novels and stuff like that. I've even gone off Tom, uh, Stephen King and stuff. But if you haven't read this and you do like slightly geeky stuff it is pretty good um and 
you know, what's the, what's the character's name? Jack Ryan. He's a bit of a... He is a bit of Mary Sue. He's like an ex-stockbroker, intelligence analyst, millionaire, shit-hop cricketer, a helicopter pilot, inventor of doorless safe, can pat his tubby, tummy and rub his head, can juggle. You know, he's visited every country. He can hold his breath for nine hours. He's just... He seems to be able to do everything, Jack Ryan. Um, but this is the, this is the book where it sort of starts that character as well, because he's just just stopped being a stockbroker, just become a, an, an an analyst, um, and he twigs what's going on. So I don't know if you know the story, but basically a very senior Soviet, because he is a Soviet um, submarine captain, defects with the with a brand new super sub called the Red October. Um, and that's the, that's why it's the hunt for the Red October because everyone's looking for it. The Russians are looking for it because um, they really don't want this submarine to fall into American hands because it's got a super advanced propulsion system. Um, the Americans are looking for it because they've just, they've worked out that they're trying to defect. And yes, it would be a coup to get the crew to defect, but if they can get the crew and the submarine. Wow. Um, so everyone's racing to try and find this sub. And there's, like in the film, there's a, a US submarine that's trailing it. Um, it starts to cause a bit of an international incident, serious tension between America and Russia. Uh, and nuclear war is averted. Um, which is a shame, really, because I quite, I'll be quite romanticised about that concept for all my life, as we discussed in another video. Um, so that's it really that's that's my personal link to the hunt to red Oct hunt for red october um it's not a book i expected to enjoy but i really did and then i had something sort of pushed towards me by the great material river the great the great consumer force in the universe um and you know and and then it, it's something that i remember it's given me memories, nice memories, of my pops when he was really poorly. Um, so that's that, really. So I do recommend Hunt for October by Tom Clancy. You don't need to go on Amazon. You could probably get this in any charity shop. This is a very tatty copy. Um, it's been read lots of times. So whoever bought it originally loved it, which is nice. Um, and then I've, I haven't read it once. I haven't read it the once. So, yes, it's been loved in the past. It's not been like put on a bookshelf and not touched. Um, which you shouldn't you should always try and read your books so that's me done tonight if you enjoyed this video i know it's a bit of a downer um but it can't always be sunshine and light you know i'm a complex man i've got some ups i've got some downs i've got some shadows i've got some light you know i'm very tedious anyway so like and subscribe if you enjoyed it if you read hunt for red october and enjoy it put a comment below and then I'll see you at the weekend with another great video.